Hello, it's Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today is Wednesday, the 11th of uh, February, 2009. This is going to be a quick video because I didn't have time to look at some new ideas for tomorrow. So it'll just be a uh, review of open positions. We had uh, gotten involved in uh, QLogic as a short position at about $11.35 over here. And we've been ratcheting the stop down. And if you follow me on Twitter, then you would have seen that uh, I had lowered the stop uh, to $10.87 today, intraday. And I think that's where that stop ought to remain right now. So if you're still short this stock, $10.87 is now your worst case stop. If it gaps up to uh, $10.95, then that's the place to cover as well. So um, that one's, uh, it'll been a decent little trade. We were also looking at... Uh, uh, PSYS, that's Psychiatric Solutions, uh, once again, because of this longer term time frame that looks so bearish, said that it's really not quite ready to, to decline yet, still probably needs another day or two of uh, back and forth in here, and it's probably still the case. Maybe we could uh, make a small bet, I think, under $27 a share, getting back below there, then maybe it gets some downward momentum, I would say. Worst case stop, probably about 27.47 on that if, if that's to set up tomorrow. But I would only do maybe a half of your normal size on that trade because it's really not quite set up perfectly yet. Um, Buffalo Wild did report earnings after the close, and you know they brought this stock right down to the brink, made it look like it was really going to uh, you know work out. I, I have a very small, very speculative short position, and... Hopefully you've been listening to me uh, drone on and on about the risks of this because the company did report earnings and after the close you can see here that the stock ramped up to about $25.75 a share is where it closed. So uh, basically the puts that I bought are going to be worthless. They expire next Friday. Something drastic is going to have to change. I'm not expecting anything drastic. So uh, in my mind these are puts are worthless and you know, that's what happens when you bet on earnings. It's nothing more than a bet, which is why the best way to handle risk is with options. Because, you know, think about it. Had you sold the stock short, let's say, at $21.75 today, you'd be out 4 bucks a share. Uh, with the options, you're out whatever you paid in premiums. So that one didn't work. That's the, uh, that's the way it goes. BRKR, I had suggested uh, purchasing this stock uh, above this uh, $4.60. Uh, so above 460, I'd suggested uh, a purchase. Uh, intraday on Twitter, I had suggested selling half of it right here at $4.85. Uh, the bid was 485 at the time I put that out. So and and I did see trades go off. Hopefully that was some of you guys. Um, and then I had suggested uh, raising the stop on the other half uh, to uh, four dollars. And um, I think it was six, uh, 67 cents. E either way, it was stopped out right in here on that pullback. The pullback occurred a little bit deeper. I, th uh, I think I was expecting 67 cents. It came down, tagged that, but finished uh, nicely higher. And, uh, you know, in a, in a bear market, you got to take your profits and, and don't look back. Uh, when these uh, stocks work on the long side, the daily time frame still looks like it's set up. I was, you know, I'm going to say that officially we're out of this, but um, uh, if you are still in it, I would say worst case stop right now goes below here. And again, just because I say this is the way to play, it doesn't mean it's the best way. A lot of times, you know, I'm I'm uh, too quick to get out of these winners, but here, here in the daily time frame, maybe it's going to continue to get going higher. I know nothing about these companies. I know we're in a bear market, The uh, and, and these stocks have been beaten down so badly that there's got to be bad news in it, so I just don't trust them. Uh, CMTL, we were looking at as far as uh, maybe another day or two to set up before it, it's uh, – a, a good short candidate here the weekly time frame you can see you know that it broke this little support in here uh, that's acted as resistance in here recently on the 10 minute time frame uh, I would say worst case stop above here if you're a little bit more aggressive uh, so worst case stop right up above here if you're a little bit more aggressive like I am then maybe just above 40 45 uh, but as far as an entry goes uh, it's tough to say exactly where the where the hammer falls, but uh, maybe below this level. And then if if that were to happen, what I would do is actually put my stop 
right up here at about uh, $4.21 or so. So no reason to give it that extra 20 cents. There's just no, you know, in my in my opinion is you got to keep those stops super tight. But it looks like it's ready to continue to decline. So keep an eye on this one. Uh, pool, P-O-O-L, as you know, I've been talking about this one for uh, last week and a half or so. And um, you know, maybe getting below this low right here, below 1624. Uh, absolute worst case stop up here at 1655. Keep an eye on Twitter. I'll try to update to say, you know, here's where a new stop ought to go uh, and that sort of thing. The IYR was looking weak. Uh, it, you know, we've been keeping an eye on this, uh, you know, very similar to, you know, almost identical actually to, to this Buffalo Wild. But this stock, um, you know, the, the, uh, the real estate. They're bringing it right down here. They bring it slightly lower each time, but it just can't stay down. So one of these times, maybe it will. But uh, you know, late day strength in here. I, I think there's no reason to be involved yet. Uh, maybe getting back below there, but that's it's more of a day trading vehicle. Uh, and and what I was suggesting anyway was a, uh, a a rally maybe up towards 31 bucks a share, a low volume rally up towards 31 that would fail and then break down. So if that's the case. Uh, then maybe we see a little bit. Uh, it's it's still tough to say. I, I I mean, keep an eye on Twitter. I'll 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 mention this one tomorrow. RTH. Uh, this one also. I was uh, looking for maybe a rally up that would fail. It's uh, it hasn't really rallied quite yet. Uh, you know, a lot of these stocks are you know these markets are on these trend lines. We've got uh, what should be big resistance right up in here, uh, but. You, you know, it's 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 not ready to short yet. So keep, continue to keep your eye on the retailers. I think XLE, uh, you know, came close to to you know breaking hard. It seemed today, and there was a real nice trade in there actually uh, that I was talking about on Twitter when XLE broke down right in here, and uh, it had broken this 30-minute time frame uh, trend line, but it got back up above there. So you got to be taking profits. It's a uh, volatile market. I'll be back with some new ideas tomorrow.